Good morning and welcome to Diggin' SoCal. This is going to be my last group of hunts while I'm in the uh, Rockland area and then I'm off to Oregon, then Washington. So let's get to it, see if I can get some good finds. Get a uh, jumpy signal here. Interesting glasses. Well, you don't need a metal detector for this one. Huh. San Francisco Giants. I just had a uh, 17 here, dug it up. Thought it was a bottle cap when I first saw this. And it's a key. All right, I want to just pitch up the little dirt and find the quarter. Nice 30. All right, getting a jumpy hit right here. Hmm. This time. All right, that works. All right, I got a nice 15 right here. And uh, uncover this little patch of dirt. And it looks like a shell casing, probably nine millimeter. Oh, it's a 40. Getting a 23, 24 here, which is probably a penny or dime. Oh, look at that. That was easy. It's a Lincoln. I'm right, getting a 2021 20, right here. I parted the grass. I see pink. I'm not really sure what that. Oh, you know what? That's probably going to be a key. Nice. That's typically a quarter number right there. Pretty wet ground here. Oh, I see it. Ooh. Yep, quarter. All right, I just had a 12 right underneath the uh, surface here. I see a coin, it looks like. And it is a nickel. All right, I had another 12 popped into 11 a couple times, about two feet away from the nickel I just found.
Uh, so wet down here. And it's still down there. There it is. Another nickel. And these are sure in bad shape when they're out here in this wet dirt. I'm working underneath this tree right now. I'm getting a uh, panty signal basically here. That's not a penny, what is that? What the heck is that? Huh. Let me see if I can figure this out. Hold on one second. Oh wow. It's a magnetic bracelet. Look at that thing. It sticks together with magnets. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, I just pulled a uh, dime out of the uh, dry grass here. A lot of work. <laughs> All right, getting a 13 here. Uh -huh. Looks like a religious pendant. All right. All right, this one was a little bit deeper and uh, jumping around a lot. Yeah, it looks like a lock. Pretty gross. I have to clean it up to get a better look at it. Interesting. Had a nice little 12, 13 here and uh, just pulled up a nickel. All right, I just had a uh, 12, 13 here. And I got it, just popped it out of the hole. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is like the fourth find. Wow, that was pretty deep too. Underneath this grass. Here we go, got the grass out. Nice. It's a heavy little booger. It's got some wear on it. I gotta see if I can find a mark. But heck, I got a ring. It's a strange one. It's open in the back. Very cool. Just a little uh, follow up. It has some designs on the inside, but I don't see uh, any markings, any hallmark. And it did ring, ring up on the uh, Vanquish 540 as a 1213. Well, that was a uh, fun hunt. I hit two parks, did a lot more in the grass area than I normally do. Um, it's getting hot out already. So uh, this is my last hunt in the Rockland area and it's time to move on. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't, to hit the subscribe button and let's go do the wrap up. Got uh, plenty of pull tabs. I've got uh, odds and ends over here. The lock is kind of unique. Um, it's pretty rusted out. As you can see, it's in bad shape. I don't see any name on it. I've got the uh, work glasses and right here's a uh, 40 cal shell casing. Let's see, I've got um, 
a lanyard over here with San Francisco Giants keychain and two keys. I've got uh, this uh, magnetic bracelet and then two more keys. Then I've got a couple pendants here. This religious pendant here, kind of cool. It's not precious metal, not silver. And then I got this one here, which is really unique. It's um, just a head. Kind of cool. And then I did get one ring. It's got some interesting markings on the inside, but there's no uh, hallmark. And then I got uh, plenty of change. Like here's the pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters. So it was a pretty good haul in uh, clad. Anyway, that was the uh, finds for this really short hunt. Had a real good time, so uh, we will definitely catch you on the next one.